Hey guys, welcome back. Glenn with Old School Millennial. Today I'm going to be unboxing my new Oregon 520 electric chainsaw sharpener. So to give you all a little bit of backstory, I've been hand filing my chainsaws for years and finally I opted to go ahead and invest in a good chainsaw sharpener. So I'm going to be unboxing that today and then setting it up and using it for the first time. I'm rearranging a little bit because I've got my power on this wall and also one of my buddies built this uh, table, um, a taller table for me to be able to stand up and work um, and uh, I think it'll work perfectly for uh, chainsaw sharpening and handling stuff. I don't normally sit uh, in my shop anyway. Um, so. And I'm probably gonna end up most of the time sharpening while I'm standing, so this will work perfectly. So for those of you that are maybe looking at getting a new chainsaw sharpener um, and looking at maybe an electric chainsaw sharpeners, there's a lot of chainsaw sharpeners out there. Um, there's entry level, like very inexpensive ones that I want to say you can get for uh, even like $50 or something like that. Um, and then there's ones that go all the way up to over $1,000. Um, the one that I picked up is kind of a, I'd say intermediate um, to entry level professional uh, chainsaw sharpener. My rule of thumb whenever I'm looking at buying a new tool is just to buy the best that you can buy at the time uh, that you're purchasing it. That way that you, you can use it for years and years and um, it definitely pays to invest in good tools um, because they will treat you well over the years to come. Well, I gotta say for my first impression, this sharpener works awesome. I need to fine tune it a little bit and get used to it a little bit. But yeah, that's definitely gonna be a huge asset to working with firewood. Um, it's gonna make my chainsaw sharpening go a lot faster. What I'm probably gonna end up doing is pick a day and sharpen all my chains and get a couple extra chains each, put some sharp chains on each, each chainsaw and then have a backup and I'll never run out. So far, I gotta say this sharpener is very impressive. Um, it's an easy setup. The angles are very easy. Um, just the main thing is getting it mounted. Uh, that's also very easy. Um, but yeah, look at, Oregon makes um, three different models. Um, one of them is a 410, the other one is a 520, and the other one is a 620. Um, uh, me, I got the one in the middle, um, but uh, the 620 is also a good one, and the 410 is also a good one. Um, I understand a lot of people get that one, and, and it works great. So if y'all have any uh, questions or comments, uh, put them down in the comment section, and 
again, I just want to thank you guys for helping us meet our 300 uh, subscriber goal uh, for October. Um, we surpassed that and uh, we're on to making our next goal. So I appreciate everybody um, for all the support and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.